We are checking out Unforgiven, Clint Eastwood's magnum opus, I've heard. I loved his Dollars trilogy. I'm very excited. This is beautiful already. Unforgiven. She was a comely young woman and not without prospects. Therefore, it was heartbreaking to her mother that she would enter into marriage with William Money, a known thief and murderer, a man of notoriously vicious and intemperate disposition. When she died, it was not at his hand. That was 1878. Big Whiskey, Wyoming, 1880. Not dry old western like the other ones. Oh geez, are we in a brothel here? No, no, oh god. Please. Oh god damn it, damn it. <gasps> Did he slit her? Get away! Cut her face. Get <gasps> off her, cowboy. <sighs> Did he kill her? He looked like he was stabbing. He caught her anyway for sure. He said he's gonna shoot him. Another five minutes, dude. Shoot them boys. <gasps> no, she's not dead. She's gonna live. She didn't steal nothing. He had a teensy little ass give a giggle. She didn't know no better. Can hang him, little girl. girl. Is that Gene Hackman? Cool. I like him. I've seen a few of his movies now. Will there even be any consequences? That's all they get after what they've done? What they've done, they can't more than- It's a lawful contract. A contract? represents an investment of capital. I see like he owns the woman for the brothel. Damaged property. But you figure nobody wanna f Nobody's gonna pay good money for a cut-up whore. <laughs> you bring in five ponies and you give them over to Skinny. Five. You bring in two. They just have to give some ponies? That's actually more than, I thought it was just, I thought there would be no consequences, so. It's a cool whip, Bill. Hey, we don't need this whip now. Skinny don't have those ponies. You ain't even gonna whip them? Well, I find him instead. That ain't fair, little Bill. Probably just gonna whip her. Have you seen enough blood for one night? <laughs> ain't like they was uh, bad men. You know, they were just foolish. Oh, God. Well, this is not surprising, though, for the time. Go ahead. Well, maybe Eastwood will roll into town and serve some justice. Just because we let them ride us like horses don't mean we gotta let them brand us. Hmm. I got $112. How much would that be now? $240. Been giving Skinny something special? <laughs> oh, you really cut her up, though. A little soon. It ain't enough. Enough for what? Not yet, maybe. Are they leaving? Beautiful shots. <laughs> Tending to the hogs. I like pigs. You don't look like no rootin' to- Is that Eastwood right there? Say what? Oh yeah, it is. You're calling yourself Mr. William Money. You have me confused. Shot Charlie Pepper up in Lake County. He's got a name in this one. So you're Pete Southout's nephew, huh? Still handsome. I thought maybe you was someone come to kill me. Yeah, you'd always be looking for someone coming for revenge. You don't look no meaner killer. Maybe I ain't. Yeah, well Uncle Pete says if I ever wanted a partner for a killing, you were the worst one. Is that way he's here? Wants a partner for a killing? Meaning the best. You don't have no weak nerve nor fear. Everybody has fear, I ain't killed man. as many because of my youth. Schofield Kid, that's what they call me. Eastwood and the Schofield Kid. Schofield model, Smith & Wesson. How about it, Will? How about what? Wants to team up. My partner. Gonna kill a couple of no-good cowboys for cutting up a lady. Oh, okay, cut yeah. Eye, cut her eyes out. Cut her ears off. Not exactly, but I do still think he should. I don't want him to kill them. I want him to rough them up. Thousand dollars reward, Will. I can't move those d pigs. Do the best you can with it. He's doing his oh. best. I ain't like that anymore. I ain't had a drop in over ten years. I'm sober. My wife, she cured me of drink and wickedness. I know it's not a sequel to the Dollars trilogy, but I do feel like he did some things like that in the past. Like I'm, I'm thinking of his old characters. You can buy your wife. She's passed on. Been going near three years now. Oh. Yeah, he settled down, got married, stopped drinking. Well, if you used to change your mind, might be you could catch me. Come on, let's separate those hogs. Jeez, those hogs have really given him a run for his money. Just a lone rider. I think they got fever. Does he miss his old cowboy days? I wonder if he'll have a teeny little cigar in this one. Maybe. Oh, 
Oh, she's, she doesn't look good. She's got the scars. I was gonna call on the sheriff. Oh, these are the ponies? Get them horses on delivery. Yeah. They're not gonna let these dudes near the girls again, are they? Oh, now, here's the dude. This year one ain't yours. We gonna see about that. Oh. Probably just gonna shoot them. I brung for the lady, the one my partner caught. Whoa. whoa. Brought her a pony? She's the best of the lot. Okay. Better than the ones I gave him. Pony? She ain't got no face left. She ain't mangy man. I mean, it's not this guy's fault. I feel like women in westerns are always just like quietly crying. I do wonder if he's gonna shoot like this in this one. I don't think so. I don't think it's that kind of western. Oh, he needs to practice. Dude. Did Pa used to kill folks? I wonder how long it's been since he's... There you go. Gotta get a bigger gun. Age 29 years? Is that what that said? That's how old his wife was? Wow, that's young. Today I could tell your ma liked those flowers. Take care of your sister now, my son. Keep those hogs that got the fever separate. Just gonna leave him? I mean, what else could you do? Can he even ride anymore? Oh my god. I hope that he doesn't get killed. Oh boy, this is not what I was expecting. I thought he'd be just... just as smooth as always. Horses, getting even with me for the sins of my youth. I used to be weak and give him a mistreating them. Karma, I guess. The cruelty that I inflicted. Your ma, rest her soul, showed me the error of my ways. Sounds like he really fell in love and changed everything. I'll be back in a couple weeks. Where'd you get that money? We ain't got any! What are you gonna do when somebody comes to collect? You gonna help him a thousand times? You just cut up your face a little. You stupid. Jeez. Damn, you stuck up on me. Well, I heard you done the roof yourself. I did practically the whole damn thing myself. What is all that wood? I'm building a porch here so I can sit up in the evening and watch the sunset. Sounds nice. You're going to be the first billiard baron. They're paying a thousand dollars. Kills the two boys that. I see what they need the money for. Yes. Okay. Yeah, the words probably got all the way down to Texas by now. Nobody's gonna come here from Texas. You sure those got all that money? Could have squirreled away that much to five of them. I wonder where they hit it. That much, huh? You could run off them two cowboys. They'll stay out there at the bar tea. Could be nobody won't come at all. Nah, someone's coming. Look at this beautiful countryside. Ha! Huh, she's Morgan Freeman! Nice! Well. I just saw him in red. Cool. Good. This is this is good. Sally. Got a gun. Should be easy killing him. What's him to come to? Been since she fired a gun. Nine, ten years. Ten years. Oof. And we was young, full of beans. Full of beans. If they done you some wrong, I could see shooting them. We done stuff for money before. All right. So what these fellas do? Spit on a rich fella? What? No. <laughs> cut up a woman. Cut her fingers off. Cut her. Oh man, this story is just like going everywhere. I mean, they did cut her, but not 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 that much. I, I wonder when they get there if they saw her, if they'd be like, wow. Guess they got it coming. Claudia was alive, you wouldn't be doing this. That's a good point. That's a good point. She probably wouldn't want him to do it. I suppose you'd mind looking in on my youngsters next week. This kid, what's he like? I like that shot with the gun over his head. Three ways? So you still have that Spencer rifle. Huh? Saw that too. I can still knock you out. Well, they might need him then. He's not a good shot. He's gonna need to learn to ride again, man. I'm worried he's gonna get himself killed trying to do this. I don't think he's in good cowboy shape. And I'm sure she doesn't want him to go. If you guys like watching movies with me, I would love if you could subscribe right down there. I do three new movies every single week. I hope they both come back. Music is very different from the old westerns. And I heard that Clint Eastwood had a hand in the music. Can I get used to my bed? Oh, well, I'm sorry. It ain't nothing. Means his wife? She don't like it much, does she? You riding off with me. It gave me the evil eye. She did. I ain't gonna hold it against her. Yeah, I mean, he's going off to do something dangerous. She knew what a no good son of a I was. She don't realize I ain't like that no more. Claudia, she straightened me up. And that I don't think mean she I'm did. Go back to being the way I was. I just need the money. Ned, you remember that drover I shot through the mouth? He didn't do anything to deserve to get shot. He's having lots of regret. Hmm.
Yeah, no one liked me. You ain't like that no more. Bonaparte didn't think too much of me either. <laughs> no one liked him. I ain't like that no more. I'm just a fella now. I think it's important to him that he's different. Maybe he's having trouble. Like he's going to do a killing, but it, it means something different to him this time. He has to make that clear. President Garfield. Oh, no, sir. I don't wish to give offense. This country should select a king or even a queen. He would say that, wouldn't he? I don't he? wish to give offense. This country don't need no queens whatsoever. We better draw pistols here. Might be that this dude here is English Bob. Might be he's waiting for some crazy cowboy so he can shoot him down. Uh, English Bob is clever, I think. You English Bob? Let's shoot some pheasants. I'll shoot for the queen and you whomever. For queen and country. From the train? Yeah, from the train. That would be like impossible. Oh, That's eight I guess not. In one field. Paid him. I didn't think he was gonna pay. You know, it's a savage country, really. No firearms. So civilized. <laughs> I'm curious to find out what this Englishman is doing in the Old West. Did you to surrender all sidearms to the proper authority? No pistols in big whiskey. But knives are fine. Neither my companion nor I carry firearm. We rely upon the goodwill of our fellow man. <laughs> forbearance of reptiles. I don't know what that means. The forbearance of reptiles. My brother is hot and cold. Shut up, fatty. Fatty. Skinny. Those are my cat's names. Maybe they're from the Old West. Where's little Bill for Christ's sake? Bill this damn porch. You're gonna get shot, Andy. Would you like it better on a hot day or a cold day? He's coming, Andy. I think I'd like cold as well. What he say? I said he was building his porch. You got three pistols and you only got one arm. <laughs> he is the worst damn carpenter. <laughs> what are these guys up to? Seemed like he was scared. I've never seen him up against any like these ones. He worked in tough towns. He ain't scared of nothing. Everybody could be scared. He just ain't no carpenter. Well, there's a dignity in loyalty. He's just peddling this all over town. Sight of royalty would cause you to dismiss bloodshed. Uh, in awe. He just reveres the monarchy, huh? In awe of the majesty. Why not shoot the president? So ordinary. I feel like he's gonna get shot for saying that. Who are these guys? I think a cup of tea. Yeah, are they about to get shot? How dare you talk about our president? English Bob. <laughs> I feel like he's gonna get murdered. You run out of Chinaman? Uh, well, I thought that you were dead. Fell off your horse, drunk. I heard that one myself, Bob. Till I found out it was just that I was in Nebraska. <laughs> w.W. Beauchamp. Beauchamp. This is tense. Little Bill Daggett. In person? <sighs> His reputation precedes him. I write. Books, Bill. Now he's in deep. Books. He's my biographer. Oh, I see. Uh, he's just a writer. Is he peeing his pants? Well, he's not a fighter. He's not a cowboy. Are they gonna shoot him? So I guess that means that uh, you saw the signs. You're not armed, are you, Bob? A uh, peacemaker? You don't like firearms around. Only the cops get firearms. This is really tense. Also very polite, but very tense. All he's got here is writing stuff in. The Duke of Death. I'll have that 32, Bob. Is he gonna give it up? You will leave me at the mercy of my enemies. You've been talking about the Queen again? At any moment, someone could just get shot in the face. On Independence Day. <laughs> or clocked. Oh boy. I guess you think I'm with the cowboy boots too. Oh, this music. Uh, all those villains. Uh, Is he gonna beat him to death? I'm telling him there ain't no horse gold. And if there was, they wouldn't want to come looking for it. Uh. Jeez. Hmm. Yeah, one of these boys gonna make it into town. town. Get yourself a woman or something. Oh. No, I never go into town for that. And I ain't right buying flesh. Really? Body, I can rest your soul, would never want me doing something like that. Wow. You, you just use your hand? <laughs> Jeez! Is it the third guy? Did he get him? Did he hit you? Yeah, I got him. No, I bumped my head falling off my horse. Oh, jeez, he's like the clumsiest cowboy ever now. I bumped my head. Shooting wheel wheel? 
Is that the shoe what man over there? What in the hell? You don't reckon we in somebody's field, do you? Okay, hey, what? Shoot up the whole horizon, Will. Hey, kid. Is that you? Yeah. Yeah. Who in the hell you got with you, Will? That's Ned Logan, Jeez. my old partner. He's paranoid that someone else is going to go try and get the thousand dollars. I thought she was following me. You told us to. Nothing said about no partner. Well, he's a better Let's shot. Kid. My guess is you come kill me. It would look like that, I imagine. Better than three of us. It don't take three. Better than you anyhow, kid. You been mm -hmm. coming close. Get your damn hands off. Are you shooting all over creation? You gonna share your half three ways? You figured wrong. That was a bit of an assumption. You don't go, I don't go. I like them as partners. Freaking beautiful countryside. It's making me want to go ride a horse through the fields. Much different landscape, too, than the Sergio Leone westerns that were shot in Italy and Spain. Well, what are you looking at, anyhow? Well, we got a storm riding up our ass. Oh, storm's a brewing. I'm a real good shot with this rifle. See that hawk up there? Can't hit it. I could hit that hawk with one shot. Oh, no. Hell, I could hit it too, Ned. There ain't no hawk, kid. You can't <laughs> see for shit. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, how far can you see? Yeah, maybe you can't see distance. 100 yards? More. He figured it out. Fine, Will. I can see 50 yards, Will. Now, hold on. All right, calm down. You can see 50 yards. Fine. 50 yards will do just fine. I don't think... I feel like this is not going to go well. Did you kill all seven of them dead? Wing some of them. Duck a death. It's the Duke taken from the account of eyewitnesses, sir. You mean like the duck himself, I guess? The Duke. Duck, I says. <laughs> How long's it gonna hold him? You have insulted the honor of a certain poetry to the language. I was in the Blue Bottle Saloon. English Bob killed Corky Corker. I didn't see oh, you was there, but none of this. He knows the real story. Corky never carried two guns. He was called a two-gun Parker because he had a d that was so big, longer than the barrel. <laughs> Corky walked in, Bob here takes a shot at him. He went for his gun in such a hurry, he shot his own damn toe. The duck of death is as good as dead. He was real careful. Bam! <laughs> now that's a story. Walker Colt blew up in his hand. You see, the old Corky had to have two guns. So he didn't kill him, he just blew himself up? English Bob killed him. Bob wasn't going to wait for Corky to grow a new hand. Oh, I see. He couldn't defend himself, he just... Because he was drunk. Shot him right through the liver. That is a different story. What, is he disillusioned? <clears throat> I just been back on the bed. That thunder scared me. <laughs> Look at these two, just best friends camping. They got the blind kid keeping lookout. A business up in Jackson County. Two deputies up close pointing a rifle. Oh, Pete says he never seen nothing like it. Well, I don't recollect. It's probably drunk for a lot of it. How many men you kill? What the hell is that to you? I knew he was awake. In case we get into a scrape and all. How many men you kill, kid? Five. Really, five? I done killed five of them. Don't you shut up. It's a rest. I do wonder how many the other guys have killed. Corcoran was faster on the draw than the duck. The duck, huh? If he hadn't been in such a hurry, he wouldn't have shot himself in the toe. Just taking notes of the real story. Don't mean much next to being cool-headed. Mm -hmm. But if the other fellow is quicker... See, I feel like we're learning something for later. Then he'll miss. If he doesn't miss, then he'll kill you. <laughs> That's why there's so few dangerous men around. Like me. I think he is dangerous. I, I don't just... Take that. Are they about to duel? Yeah. Crap. Well, there's the key. All you gotta do is shoot me. This is a power move. I mean, this guy would never will. He's gonna kill him, I feel like. The sheriff's gonna kill this writer guy, maybe, if he tries. Oh, boy. Now you gotta point him. He's talking him through it. This is so tense. No, all you gotta do is pull the trigger. He knows he won't. You can't, dude. No, you're not gonna. Hot aim. But is he gonna shoot him now? What if, what if, what if I gave it to him? Yeah, yeah, to yeah, him. yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't, you don't really want me to give it to him. Not afraid. He's a he's a scary dude. There's thunder in the background. Woof. I'm getting a chill. Better be quick on the draw, man. Oh, he will shoot this guy. Staying calm, just like he said. I guess he don't want it, Mr. Beauchamp. You're right not to take it, Bob. I would have killed you. Mm hmm Definitely. This guy's menacing. I've rung this alone for when we have to kill. We could use some now. Yeah, I don't touch it no more. Don't, don't do it. Don't fall off the wagon. You think that kid really killed five? No. When he was talking back there, I remember there was three men, not two. What happens when these guys come face to face with Gene Hackman? If they do, I assume they do. Got my pistols. I guess you know, Bob. <gasps> it's all bent. I'm just gonna start shooting. Ha! 
I didn't steal your biographer. He stayed on his own account. Really humiliated that guy. You're a lot of savages. Nobody's gonna come. The tables ain't clean. Cover up your face. Up. Rain's coming. Yeah, there's a big storm coming. I feel like it's a metaphor for the coming storm of cowboys. All right, they're rolling into town. Let's see. It's fell asking for you, Alice. It's being randy as hell to come out in this. You know, he had changed it over. This guy's just writing his biography now. <laughs> oh. And he loves it. I like, start crying. Bill, oh, please, oh God, it just makes me sick. Carrying two pistols and crying like a damn baby. I can't abide them kind. Oh, look how leaky it is. I do not like assassins or men of low character. But now Bob was no coward. Sheriff, I just, no character. Maybe you should just hang the carpenter. <laughs> That's him. Uh oh. Uh oh. You fellas just come into town, Bill. Which two of them got guns? Nobody's abiding by Ordinance 14. The hell's keeping that kid? Jesus will. Is he all right? Got pneumonia. And a shot. I saw. It was all broke open. Jesus will. Is he like hallucinating? Like what? Look, if I was to uh, partake, take a little time for myself. I mean, you wouldn't tell his uh, wife. I guess you wouldn't want to come. So on drink. It looks bad. Give me the pistol, mister. Really? I ain't drunk, but turn in your firearms. I ain't no harm. He's lying, I don't know. What's your name? Hendershot. I was to say you was a no good son of a- Yeah, he was talking about Hendershot before, right? He knows Hendershot. Get out. Oh, jeez. What's this for, snakes and such? We don't have any snakes in here, Mr. Hendershot. Yeah. You see, Mr. Beauchamp? Everybody's a liar. Oh, crap. He's just gonna beat the crap out of him? This is his modus operandi. Just likes kicking people. You know what to say to little Bill? Uh, out the window, be cool. Do they got the money? I think they'll probably have to come back for the money. What are we gonna do about Will? He's just getting his butt kicked. Ned isn't even gonna come help him out. Let the man out, W.W. Hospitality of big whiskey behind him. Just gonna crawl away? Sheriff kept his gun. They just come for the billiards, little Bill, honest. They was going to Far Buford. She's convincing. You done this before? What, is he stitching him? His pistol must have jammed. Cowboy life. He wouldn't took no beating like that if it hadn't a jam. He wouldn't just give it over and not shoot no more. He idolizes him. I don't think he's really thinking clearly about where he's at right now. Once this weather clears up, we're gonna need more food. We don't need him. The two of us could do it. Yeah, I don't know if he's gonna be very helpful. Bring us some whiskey too. Kill them two sons of for you. Really got beat. Well, Claudia's not here. I seen him dead. It's all disoriented. I seen the angel of death. I seen the river dead. It's got snake eyes. See angel of death. Music comes in. Hasn't been a lot of music. I see Claudia too. It's good to saw Claudia, ain't it? Her face was all covered with worms. Uh, I'm tired. You can't handle this. No, don't tell nobody. None of the things I tell. He's not really gonna die, is he? He's gonna die, ain't he? Maybe. Is he? Well, supposing he does. You mean when I help you kill them cowboys? You can spot him a half mile off, I bet. Will and I ride up close and shoot him. I hope it goes down like That's that, right. I guess. Do I hope that they kill them, though? I don't really want anyone to kill anyone. I thought you was an angel. You really kicked the hell out of me. Mm -hmm. I must look kind of like you. You don't look nothing like me. You gotta be the one those cowboys cut up. My partners. They went out scouting, looking for them. How long have I been here? Three days. Jeez. You need rest, man. Beautiful. You left it down at Greeley's. She's sweet. Are you really gonna kill them cowboys? I guess. <laughs> I guess. They've been taking advances on the payment. Free ones? She offered? Would you like a free one? I guess not. He's not that kind of guy. I didn't mean with me. Oh, I didn't mean she that. She thinks it's because she's too ugly. What it's I not you, girl. You ain't ugly like me. It's just that we both have got scars. If I was to want a, a free one, I'd want it with you. <laughs> this is kind of sweet. <laughs> I can't on account of my wife. It's a good man. Well, used to kill people. I don't know. The morality is all over the place in this. I admire you for that. For being true to your mm -hmm. wife and all. Is she back in Kansas? Yeah, she's watching over my young one. Baby! 
<laughs> my baby cow. Oh, Jesus. Jesus fella. They shoot the horse? Jesus, boys, my leg's broke. Better finish him, Ned. Got the boy's horse. <laughs> Will they do it? I'm very curious if they're actually going to kill these guys. Get over there, Davy! <laughs> He ain't kill? Can't see Those anything. Rocks, we ain't gonna get him. Why don't you shoot? Dude. Well, ain't you gonna shoot? Can't do it. That's surprising. You're very good with my ears. No, you're not. This is not good. This is not good, because then those guys might come up now and follow them. Oh, frig. Got him in the leg? Frig, frig, frig. Reload this. I got him. He surely did. Got him to the gut, I think. You think he's gonna die? I don't. You think we killed him? They shot me, boys. I'm dying, boys! You shouldn't have cut up no woman! Oh, frig, now they're just gonna go back and, like, go after the girls again. Give me some water, please. We ain't gonna shoot. You ain't gonna shoot! This is so weird. They're talking to each other. But are they gonna shoot? Davey, hold on now! They're just waiting. He is having a time. With any luck, we'll find him by nightfall. Head on back with the money. This ain't no time to quit, man. He oh, is yeah. quitting. He just quit just like that in the middle of it. Wow. I ain't no good with that damn thing anyhow. When we find him, we'll shoot him. We'll meet up with you and all head south together. Now oh, he'll hole up at that ranch. I'll look in on your younger when I get back. Does he even care about the money? Little Bill? They killed one of them cowboys. This guy's just helping. The county's got to take responsibility. You just get on out there to the bar tea and stays put and don't expose himself here. This is not good. There's going to be a showdown. And now they don't have Ned. Will, the nice one being so true to his wife. The he nice one. Wife. Not above ground anyways. Well, now he's even nicer. Oh, Jesus. He had it coming! Both of them for what they done! I'm worried that this lady's just going to get killed. She's too sassy. We got one! Cow Creek. It wasn't Ned, was it? Come across this son of a head and sow. No. Had a Spencer rifle on him. Those cowboys <sighs> messed him up. A little bit, I guess. Oh, Frigo, Frigo, no, oh no. They got Ned. This is not good. Didn't you see anything out there, Buck? Seen about 200 fellas. Said they want quick mics. Said how much? They says about five. I said sold. I got me some protection. This is, this is gonna be a bad fight. Oh no. He just wanted to go home. You want to tell me about your two villainous friends, I guess. And they're just gonna beat him now. It's just two of them. I feel like they're all gonna wind up dead. You ain't gonna shoot him your own self, are you? You can shoot him. Your own self. Oh, no. I don't think he'll talk, but he might. What's the young fella's name? Elroy Tate. Elroy Quincy out of uh, Medicine Hat and Henry Tate. And Ned. Are they gonna kill him? Bias, I'm gonna hurt you. Frick. Not gentle like before. I don't wanna see it. I don't wanna see it. Are they gonna kill this guy or what? As soon as they do, all the other guys are gonna come out. Can this kid even do it? I I, I don't know. Well, go if you're going. Assassins! Missed him by a mile. Shoot him if you're gonna. He got it. He did it. He'll go. Well, run. Everybody run now. Well, they better ride like the wind. Oh, oh. oh my god. <laughs> this is such a, it's such a bad execution of the plan. Got away? Aren't those guys gonna come looking for them now? Is that what it was like in the old days, Will? Life of a cowboy. All over the place. I guess so. I guess so. I thought they was gonna get us. I was even scared a little. Was you ever yeah. scared in them days? I can't remember. While he was drunk. You'd have to be. I shot that f three times. First shot, I got him right in the chest. That was the first one. First, first one, one he killed? First one I ever killed. Yeah. yeah. Three shots and he was taking a sh How does he feel about it though? Looks like I, I don't know how he's taking it. Take a drink, kid. Jesus. It's the girl. It don't seem real. I ain't gonna never breathe again, ever. And the other one, too. You take away all he's got and all he's ever gonna have. Oh, I mm -hmm. guess they had it coming. 
We all have it coming, kid. If they're gonna rescue Ned or what? I was watching you. They don't know about Ned, actually. The East and two deputies was following them. We'll give Ned his share. They don't know. Ned's share? He went south. Ned, he's dead. He's dead. I killed him. He didn't kill anyone. Oh, he man. went south. Who killed him? Little Bill. He was making him answer questions, beating him up. And Ned just died. They got a sign on him. Oh, says man. he was a killer. In front of Greeley's. Like they put him out there with a sign on? First Ned wouldn't say nothing. And then he said who he was. He said he was more cold-blooded than William Bonney. And he was going to come kill him. He's done some stuff. Give me your Schofield. Yeah. Is he going to kill the sheriff? Sure. You go on. Keep it. I don't kill nobody no more. Good for you, kid. I ain't like you, Will. Found that out. You better ride on back. All of it. It's yours. I guess I'd rather be blind and ragged than dead. I ain't gonna kill you. You're the only friend I got. That kid really had a change of heart. Take this money and Ned's half to my kids. You keep the rest, you can get them spectacles. This is not gonna go well. Oh no. But it's got me thinking about like, if he really did do all that stuff that he said, killed women and children and stuff, maybe he has it coming complicated. Westerns are complicated, you know, there's not good guys and bad guys necessarily. It's not black and white like that. Oh, frick. We're gonna chase these fellas clear down to Texas. We're gonna divide up into four parties. Is he standing there in the back? Across somebody who's seen these. He just walked right into the room? He doesn't care if he dies at this point. Who's the fella who owns this shit? Just hold it right there. Hold it! You just shot an unarmed man. He William Money out of Missouri. Killer women and children. That's right. That's right. And I'm here to kill you, little Bill, for what you did to Ned. But is it gonna go down like that? I remember what Bill said. He's gonna stand there. And he's not gonna be a quick draw. He's gonna keep his cool. When he fires that, take out your pistols. Misfire. Oh, we got a couple. Any man don't Those spurs. Better clear on up. He's drinking. I'm shot. You ain't shot. I don't, I don't have a gun. Pick up that rifle. You killed little Bill. Oh yeah, he's dead. I write. I'm a writer. I don't believe you. You killed five men. You gonna write about yeah. him now? That's a, a suspenser rifle. Who'd you kill first? An experienced gunfighter will always fire on the best shot first. I was lucky in the order, but I've always been lucky when it comes to killing. <sighs> yeah, I'll say. I thought he was dead for sure. He must have killed Clyde. Well, could have been Deputy Andy. I'll tell you this, who's going to be last? But Bill's still alive. He's drinking. He's gone back to his old ways. Oh, frig. Oh, frig. Oh, frig. I don't deserve this. I thought he was gonna get him. I was building the house. I'll see you in hell while you money. Yeah, I think they'll both be there. Yeah. Don't show it. Can you do it? Oh, yes. Any man I see out there, I'm gonna kill him. All his friends. Burn his damn house down. He killed everybody in that town. Ugh. I wouldn't. What's this writer gonna do? You better bury Ned right! Better not cut up no otherwise harm no horse! Or I'll come back and kill every one of you. Ooh, I gotta chill. <sighs> I wonder what she thinks of him. This music. She's grateful. She still thinks he's a good man. Back to the silhouette at sunset. Mrs. Ansonia Feathers made the arduous journey to visit the last resting place of her only daughter. William Money had long since disappeared with the children, and there was nothing on the marker to explain to Mrs. Feathers why her only daughter had married a known thief and murderer. I guess that writing was probably the writer. Hmm. This one's making me think.
Okay guys, that was Unforgiven and that was really good. I liked it a lot. It was beautiful, beautifully shot. Clint Eastwood was awesome. Gene Hackman was awesome. I feel like it's in pretty sharp contrast with the older Eastwood Westerns. Just in the way that like in those Westerns, he was so competent. He was like the perfect cowboy. He never missed a shot. But in this, he's fallen off his horse. He can't make a shot. His team is like one of them's blind and then the other guy kind of loses his nerve. It wasn't what I expected. I, I mean, I guess I thought maybe it would be more like he's just, you know, the, the straight up, you know, hero or, or whatever and very, very competent, you know, the perfect cowboy once again. But it, it wasn't like that. But in the end, he did go back to his old ways and he pulled off a killing of five guys versus one that shouldn't have happened. And yeah, he kind of did a 180 there at the end. He was trying to avoid it for the whole movie, trying to go back into that life. In the end, he couldn't. So it makes me just think about, you know, human nature and mistakes that you make in your past, whether you could ever really atone for things that you've done that are truly terrible you know that's kind of where my head's at with it I'm not sure I, I would like to know what you guys see in this movie I feel like there's more here but that's just where my initial thoughts are going it's complicated it, you know there there isn't really a good guy and a bad guy in this I will say the sheriff is a pretty bad guy obviously he's a, he's a, a villain for sure but can you say that Clint Eastwood's character is a good guy I don't think so these westerns always kind of make me think about morality a little bit I guess it's possible that I'm sort of seeing something in this that isn't there but it just makes me think Think about morality but then I don't know can you can you start over give up drinking and stop killing people and just settle down and have a quiet life and does that mean that you're a good person now once you're a bad person are you always a bad person it just that's that's where my head goes with these movies but I wonder what you guys think so let me know what you guys see in this movie thank you guys so much for watching I really appreciate it I had a great time I hope you had a great time too and I will see you next time bye guys